everyone, it's Terry, and today I want to show you my minimal productive and gaming desk setup. And over the past year, I've been watching so many people's desk setup of how they do it online on YouTube, and it just really inspired me to kind of upgrade my own desk setup because previously, before this desk setup, I didn't really care about my desk, right? I had everything all over the place, cable management wasn't a thing, and I didn't really care about my desk setup whatsoever. But I feel like after having this desk setup and after you know, reorganizing my desk. It really helped me increase my productivity and also creativity when it comes to my workflow, as well as a better place for me to unplug and relax. So it all started with me building my first ever gaming PC earlier this year, and that was a ton of fun. So ever since then, I just started adding a few pieces here and there every so often to my desk. And now you can say this is the final version of the desk setup. Well, that is until I decide to redo this or make changes in the future. But for now, this is the final version of this year, at least for my desk setup. So if you do enjoy videos like these, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe down below for future videos. Let's get started with the tour. First off, let's go over the PC that's running this entire setup. Now coming from a PC, which sounded like a jet engine and every single time I turned it on, I wanted to make sure that this PC was quiet but powerful enough for the games that I play and also the tasks that I need to get done on it. And this PC does exactly that. So this is the pure base case on Be Quiet. And as you can tell from the name, it does a great job dampening the sound from the PC. And it also has decent airflow, which is great. Inside this case, I'm running an MSI 3060 GPU, which I was lucky enough to pick up earlier this year. It also has a Ryzen 5 5600X CPU, the Be Quiet 700 watt power supply, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, Corsair AIO liquid cooling, the MSI Tomahawk B550, and one terabyte of SSD storage. So I had the option to build a higher spec PC with the 3080 or maybe even a Ryzen 7 CPU, but for the task and games that I'm using for, there's really no need for me to have the highest spec PC that's out there. And in my opinion, if you have the money, then go for it. You have extra money laying around, or if you're gonna use the PC for specific tasks or games, then you need those higher specs go for it. However, I'm a firm believer in buying tech that's valuable to you within your budget. And if you don't have the money to do so, there's no need to spend more money. And also the highest spec products that are out there, doesn't mean it's the most valuable option. This PC is quiet and allows me to edit and render videos much faster than before. I can stream, which I will be doing more of in the future. And it allows me to play all my games in the highest setting possible. For the monitors, I'm using the Asus Tough Gaming 1440p 170Hz as my main and the Asus VS278 1080p as my secondary vertical monitor. At first I was hesitant about having a vertical display because I used to have them in a horizontal direction, but after getting some time to get used to it, I feel like a vertical monitor can come in handy for productivity work. And also it gives it a more aesthetic look and feel for the whole setup. Two monitors are being held up by Evo's dual monitor arm and I'm using an additional metal plate to help support because I do have a glass desk. So I was really hesitant about using these monitor arms because when I did my research, a lot of people said you shouldn't use monitor arms on glass desk because they may crack the glass. However, after finding these metal plates to support it, I really haven't had an issue since. And I think if you do have a glass desk, look into it. It definitely can be an option for you if you've been looking to use monitor arms on your desk. Speaking of the desk, this is a great looking glass desk. It was from my brother and he wasn't using it anymore and it's a lot bigger than the desk I has previously, but there is one issue with it. And that's because it's a glass desk and I always have to constantly be cleaning it because it's a magnet for fingerprint and dust. Behind the monitor here, I bought this little storage basket from Ikea. It's called a K-Vissel. This is where I put a lot of my miscellaneous items such as charging cables, iPad, additional mouse, and then small paperwork as well. It allows me to keep my desk clutter free and I can hide it behind a secondary monitor where it can't be seen. I also have this laptop that I barely use since I usually do most of my work here at the setup. This is one of the MSI's old stealth lineups with the Intel processor and a 1660 GPU. Now if I'm traveling then I would bring it with me to do some work and light gaming. In terms of peripherals, I have a Google Home Mini which I use mainly to turn on and off my Govi LED strips that I have set up around the desk. In terms of speakers, these are the Creative Pebble speakers, which is a great budget option, and I think they look great with any setup. This clock is from Amazon, which can wirelessly charge my phone, so when I want to charge my phone at night, I can just toss it on the stand. For my keyboard, I'm using the K70 with silver speed switches. The desk mat that I'm using is a large Razer Strider desk mat. I'm using the Glorious Model D wireless, which I switch with the Model O wireless from time to time. 
I have the Corsair HS70 headphones hanging on the side which I haven't used recently and use them only when I play competitive shooter because if I use them for too long I end up getting headphone hair. I prefer just plugging in some earbuds on the Blue Yeti microphone for everyday use and the Blue Yeti is attached to the Blue Compass boom arm which has been a great purchase in terms of upgrading my audio quality from the original headset. For the chair here I have the Staples Hiken ergonomic chair and it's been one of the most comfortable chair to sit in for long sessions and I think it's also one of the best budget option chair that's out there if you're looking for an office chair. I also have a footrest from Everlasting Comfort for my short legs that are much needed because if I don't, then my legs will just be dangling off the chair. In terms of cable management, I'm not using anything special. All I'm using is a wrap from Amazon to wrap the cables. And then I have a box here underneath here for the power block. For the rest of the cables that are hanging, I just put them underneath the frame of the desk and I just tuck them away. So that's the entire desk setup and there's definitely more that I can do with this desk setup and I can definitely hang something up right here or even over there, maybe some picture or some type of display to give this place a little bit more character. Sometime in the future, I would definitely like to get a standing desk because I just like to have the option of being in a standing position to a sitting and vice versa. This way it allows me to just change my posture and I'm not just sitting in one singular posture for a long period of time. So overall, this has been a massive upgrade for my desk setup and my PC because prior to this, I didn't really care about cable management. I didn't really care about the clutter on my desk and I didn't really care too much about the PC in general. So this has been a great upgrade and I've been using it a lot and it's definitely increased my productivity and also increased my overall enjoyment of using the space for creativity work and also gaming as well because anytime I want to unplug I can come to a nice minimal desk setup that has some RGB but not too much and allows me to just relax in a comfortable environment for me to kind of just unplug from everything else. So I hope you enjoyed this desk setup tour. If you do have any suggestions please leave them down in the comment section below and also make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you didn't already for the YouTube algorithm that'll be greatly appreciated. And also subscribe down below for future video. And if you are interested in any of the products that I am using for my desk setup, they will be down in the description below. And with that being said, I really appreciate every single one of you who have been commenting and also been interacting with this page and also subscribing, whether it be, you know, hitting thumbs up, subscribing, and also just giving your time out of your day to view my stuff and my content on here. I really appreciate it. I just want to say thank you and it really means a lot so thank you again and i'll see you guys in the next video peace